everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. Today what we're going to be going through is an electrochemical series question in which hopefully you'll be able to understand how to order things in an electrochemical series. Okay, so I've written up a question which says basically the following. A chemist made the following reactions. So what happened was metal X dissolved in some kind of one molar solution of a salt, okay? forming a deposit of Y solid. Then it says metal Z did not react with um, the salt um, X nitrate. And finally metal Y did not react with ZNO3. So again, what we have to do here is we have to understand that this is going to be, we're going to have to place this into electrochemical series order, which basically means that we have to figure out First of all, what the half equations are. Well, we don't have to, but I just want you to understand what is going on in this particular situation. So, we, the, the question actually is that um, we have to find the ease of extraction of metal X, Y, and Z from the ores. So, normally metals, they're trapped in ores, meaning that they're trapped with oxygen reactions and mixed together, and they're very hard to get in the pure form. So what you need to do is um, hopefully by their spontaneous reactions you're able to take them out. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how easily, depending on the electrochemical series, which one's the easiest to extract to get as solid and which one's the hardest to get as a solid. So that's what, exactly what the question is asking us. Okay, so let's just list the um, particular metals and let's write up half equations for them. So I'm not going to put them in any particular order yet, I'm just going to list them. So I'm going to say, okay, my iron X, now X is plus two, I can tell from my number here, plus two electrons, is going to produce X solid. Okay, the other metal is um, going to be Y2 plus, plus two electrons. Actually, it's Y plus, because it's just mixed with nitrate. And there's only one Y for every nitrate. So you have plus, plus one electron, gives you Y solid. And finally, what you have is Z plus Z2 plus, plus two electrons, is going to give you Z solid. Okay, so let us have a look at how we're going to um, arrange these in order. Remembering that the most reactive metal, okay, will be at the very bottom here. Okay, now, metal X actually dissolved into this solution of Y, of y ions. So here you have Y ions, okay, from your salt, and metal, Z, metal um, X actually dissolved. So this is actually not going to happen. You're not going to have this arrangement. You're going to have an arrangement where X must be underneath. Otherwise, if you're standing right here, you're going to have to move uphill to get to X. Okay, so X really must be downwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip these two equations around and just rewrite them. So we have y, y plus, plus an electron, is going to produce Y solid. And then we're going to have X2 plus, plus two electrons, will give us X solid. Okay, so let's just double check that it works now. So we have Y plus, and we have metal X being underneath. So metal X will react. So yeah, it works. Okay, now let's have a look at this one. Metal Z did not react with your salt version. Okay, so where's metal Z? Here it is. And it does not react with this particular item here. So it shouldn't be in that position. Okay, we should be able to, we should have to rearrange this. So this one is unknown where it is, but we know it cannot be, it cannot be below X. Okay? And now, one last thing that we know in equation number three is why did not react with your salt of Z. 
So here you have your salt of Z, and basically what you know is that Y could not react. So it works at the moment, Z will not react with Y, but basically you will have metal Z reacting, not reacting with X either. So basically what that tells you is that this equation must be somewhere in between here. So let me just write it up and see if it works. So basically this is just a whole lot of trial and error, okay? You really have to just play around with your equations and hopefully come up with something smart. So we have Z, sorry, X plus 2 plus 2 electrons give us X solid. Let's have a look if that works now. So metal X, metal X is dissolved in this. Yes it is, so that works. Metal Z did not react with your salt. That's a non-spontaneous reaction, so it will not happen. So that's true. And finally, metal Y did not react with your particular salt version. So it doesn't. Okay, so now that's the proper order. And what the question to answer the question is says the ease of extraction of X, Y, and Z from the ores is. Now, if you want to get something out of the ore, it has to be really easy to convert into a metal. Okay, so basically, this particular reaction has to be more likely to happen. And as you know, in an electrochemical series, the equations that are placed at the top are more likely to happen than the equations that are placed at the bottom. Because at the bottom, things will not want to accept electrons. Okay, so this one is going to be a, going to happen with relative ease. And then this one's going to get slightly harder because it wants to accept electrons less than that. And then that one is even more unlikely or more harder to make successful than either of those two. So basically the ease of extraction, this will be the easiest to extract. So first it will be metal Y that you will extract. Then it will be metal Z that you extract. And finally it will be metal X that you extract as the last priority. Okay? So I hope you learned something in today's tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next ones. Um, just feel free to visit the website. We've got a chat room up there and so you can uh, visit also, I'm putting up way more information about especially lifestyle things for VCE. So just um, keep on visiting and yeah, have a great day. See you later.